In this video, I will dedicate to Angela Merkel and uh, then I don't know where I would go from from here. I don't know what I would I would say to this stuff. Um, I hope I'm going to put her behind the bars and destroy her once I get her behind the bars. I don't know what else I would say about this stuff. But it's like this. She demanded from me to be very nice to her people. So, in other words, the people that she would send to Slovenia. Is that like too much to ask from me? From me it is. Because I will never forget how Angela Merkel guaranteed me and that will not stop torture, bestiality against me upon Slovenian independence, upon the fall of the Soviet Union, upon the return of Eastern Germany, especially Berlin, to Western Germany. So, basically, end of the Soviet Union, end of Yugoslavia. Uh, and as much as I was deserved for it, she had no intention whatsoever to stop this thing. And then she had one, and she didn't, and she had one. She negotiated, especially with Italians, and came together with a claim that it was because of Italians that, after all, MK Ultra could still not be stopped that it was and it was Italian side was absolutely nasty uh, that MK Ultra torture bestiality just cannot be stopped yet uh, the year was probably already 91 92 92 I would say and so Gorizia, I told you about, I told you about the Berlin, what went on, and uh, the two, the Germany and Italy, which I don't understand anything like this, how could it be possible, but they came to terms that bestiality against me cannot be stopped, what they said, yet, can be stopped yet. Yeah. Uh, so that was in 92. Now it's 2023, so that was 31 years ago, but it couldn't be yet, right? So is it too much for Angela Merkel to ask for me to be nice to the people that she sends because she would be under the political pressure in Germany and pressure under the general public? What do you think? Somebody fucks you up another 31 years and pays criminals in Slovenia to destroy your health, to annihilate you, to destroy you completely. Um, what do you think? What is your opinion? Uh, Angela Merkel threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital in 2013. Prince Charles, all these beautiful, wonderful people. So what do you think? Is it too much, this kind of stuff, for you to spend your life without any purpose to one? Uh, is it too much to be not to be nice? Uh, to be nice, what do you think? Uh, this video is about one of the Germans who was involved very, very long time in this case. And back in his day, he was a very, very nice person. He is from Langenhagen. Langenhagen, and I'm going to tell you that this man has two daughters. Uh, he was the other day in the city of the Novo Mesto. Yeah. And he made a donation, you know. He made a donation. How much was it? A he made a donation uh, to this place here, Dolenska, and he brought with him 35 years ago. 
he brought with him to the normal master suite. And you can see here, you can see the uh, a local guy here. Uh, his name, this guy's name is Alte Lampe. And I trust me, I did not go and look for him anywhere on the internet, anything like this, yeah? Um, the guy that you see on the picture right there, Slovenian guy was also uh, very, very much motivated with me. Okay, so I guess that's all we get. He gave them 3,000. So this guy was everywhere with me. Uh, he was involved since my childhood, this guy that you see in a red tie. And he became my representative, like a pimp, you know? Like you have a hooker, you have a whore, you have a street worker. Uh, in other words, that was me, I, myself. And then you have a tourist from like all over the world that will go and they would just drip the money in a local economy. It's a different kind of hooker, different kind of whore. Uh, so they could participate in on meetings, in important uh, decision-making uh, process around the politicians like Angela Merkel, Vladimir Putin, you know, that kind of stuff, right? So this was the guy who was extremely motivated back in the day to help me out and still is because, you know, he, he keeps coming back. Um, obviously, he made friends. Uh, and I'm not going to go and do anything other than this article. That's when I saw him the other day. They published him. Okay, so it was 3,000 euros, 3,000 German marks, whatever dollars uh, he donated, which is actually rather really generous of him. And uh, he knew, he knew what he did because this guy that you see with his red tie, he almost beat me up in front of him. They started to abuse me in front of him. It was like such a hostility. Like basically, Slovenes put knife under my throat, to put it like in a proper terms of this stuff. It was torture, it was beating. This stuff started way earlier from Slovenian people alone. And they wasn't going to let me out. They wasn't let me go. Slovenian people were not let me go no matter what, because it was a golden eggs that I was laying for them. So it's like a terrorist, like the most violent terrorist, basically with knife under the throat to somebody all the time with a psychiatry running after me, police and so on, persecution. And you have then criminals like this German guy right there, major supporter, like what Angela Merkel stated, that you're gonna be nice, you're gonna be, you're gonna go fucking jail. With God's help, it's what I wish now, basically, is to get you behind bars and for the system to destroy you once I get you behind bars. I want you to get your purpose in life to have no fucking purpose. What you did to me. These are not my friends. These are criminals that come for more and they want special views, special favors for genocide performed against me, basically for, for financing genocide against me. That's basically what they want. Okay? So, suppose he has two daughters. He had me in this German city, this Langenhagen, and he insisted to me that one of the daughters, that if I like them, that is going to be my wife and this and that. I don't want any fucking anything. I don't want anything like this. You don't understand anything about what goes on, do you? Then we have another guy. Another couple also from Germany. Um, the same shit, basically. Uh, just like the other guy uh, went on to bail, um, you know, just like the other guy went on to bail uh, 
the politicians here from Slovenia also, they bail one another. They go and they bail one another. Slovenian politicians are bailing Germans and the Germans are bailing Slovenians and so on. And they are trying to make genocide, 51 years of genocide. I'm going to be 52 in December 9, in the coming month. They try to make look one like a joke, like it was like a fucking joke, like it's nothing. And if you're not going to be quiet and you're going to be nice, as Donald Trump used the language, nice to us, you're never going to get through with it. This is the terror, worse terror than I, I can't actually, it's like a fleece. It's like, it's like amoebas eating your brain, basically. You listen to the shit that gathers around you. And it doesn't last one day or two or three or no. In my case, it lasted over 50 years. Five, zero, 50 years. I don't even know where my life went. And everything is done through psychiatry and through the violence and through the police, basically, with a stick in your ass, destroying absolutely every step. Every step you make, it's nothing other than terror and destruction that follow. Ultimate degree of violence. This couple, they bought this parcel from what I remember. I think they did it in 2008. I remember them from 2008. And the only thing I can say is they did this right next to a... Uh, this is nowhere written, this stuff. Not about this guy having two daughters. Not about this couple. Are they on the picture at all? Um, right here, there are like tracks, not only one track, but in 2008, it was like one track, like a major track, trail, I should say, not as big as the, the car that you see right there, but the trail that where people would walk next to, past this, this structure they created in Istria. And it was the same shit. It was the same shit. I had a Croats saying to me. They would run to me, a politician that they mentioned here. I don't want to go and read this stuff, but it's the same shit. This guy was a violent guy. Uh, which one of this in Istra, I don't know, because they were all involved in it. But you guys got a fucking wrong about this stuff. I'm not here to call you out. It's your job. You, when you participated in this kind of stuff, should have, have assisted should have requested assistance from police and police to act according to the law. And you failed. And I'm not going to be bailing you out. I'm not here to buy your political agenda for you. I'm not here to freebie you, to freeload you for all the damage, for all the harm you have caused me. I find this extremely repulsive, disgusting. If you think you're a politician and you think you're, you're nice, you're good, you're better, fuck you because all of you are the same scum. You all wash hands to one another, and you all bail from the shit one another. I don't have anything else to say. Um, I don't want, I don't want to waste. These are, this is a couple from Germany. This, this couple was very, I, I have to not forget this stuff. This is very, very nice. Okay? Let me tell you. The couple, this German couple, when they purchased this parcel, they purchased one knowing that what they are about to do is going to be terribly wrong. And as soon as they did, within six months, two, three months, it was already people from Pula that would come and control this inspector and so on, they would have the government that will go uh, from Istra, part of Croatia, that visited them and they had a talk about this stuff. It was Angela Merkel that arrived and told them, whatever you paid for the parcel, be ready to just give it away because of the structure you place there, it's not normal. They purchased this in 2006, I would say. Uh, and the couple, if they were taken care in Germany by Merkel and so on, 
Now, Merkel was the one who came immediately to investigate the Croatia. Uh, basically presented themselves as a fun people, loving people, help people, uh, would help me out and so on. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's the news that waited for so long. Look at this. It was published on October the 31st, 2023. Pretty much the same time as the other one. The, the Croats demanded from me uh, favors. They demanded from me sympathy for, uh, for the couple that they would host and you would recognize and they were very nice people. And it's a very nice and so on. Actually, the, the Croat who was, who, who really objected to this stuff was actually a really violent guy. It was nothing nice. In Croatia, the violence, Croatia bursted from the violence. And this is also, let me tell you, a very, very nice guy, so that I don't forget. A very, very nice guy. Very, very nice guy. Do you, you understand the cynicism that I have? Do you understand the cynicism in my language? You get it? If you don't get it, watch the fucking video again. You will understand exactly what it is, what time love is. You screwed me up 51 years of life to me. You did this to me. Why have you done this to me? If you haven't done this for the pure evil. In this game, good existed for the evil. I don't really know what was more evil. The so-called good or the evil. 